Hello, beautiful Capricorns. We are here to do your thoughts, feelings, actions, and emotions, thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions for you for the person of interest in which you have come to the reading. So let's look Capricorn, Six of Swords energy. So you are sharing, this is mutual energy at the top, the Wheel of Fortune. The time is right to move forward in your relationship, to leave any past difficulties either as individuals behind or as a couple behind. So moving forward into calmer waters. This could be the world as it is today. Look at this, Two of Cups. That's a bride and groom card in the Rider Waite. That's sharing your love. I have a cup, you have a cup, we have a cup. Beautiful guardian angel, little guardian angel there. Cupid wings hovering overhead. There is a sense that your personal freedom could be at risk. There's material loss. Make sure that you are uh, sharing information with each other. There may be some secrecy here. I will go ahead because we go from the Six of Swords to the Seven of Swords. I will clarify that information. Let's see, why is that energy here? It is energy. I don't see it as necessarily, it just looks like somebody could be keeping some secrets or for some financial issues a secret. The Magician card, okay. So, very interesting energy. Now let's take a look at this energy. You may have already dealt with it by the Six of Swords, the, the issue that what's going on here with the Seven of Swords. I'm actually going to look at this right away. I'm gonna clarify this overall energy for you with a shadow deck. Why is the Six of Swords here in this relationship? You have this beautiful energy though. Oh my gosh. The Wheel of Fortune, the Magician card, and the Two of Cups. So what is it that the two of you are moving away from as a couple? Let's see. Okay, let's look and see. The Justice card. Ah, okay, that explains so much. Oh my goodness. It looks as though both of you are keeping secrets or keeping to yourself about something intuitively. It does look like someone left another party behind. Somebody is in the process of getting a divorce or you're planning a divorce. The Empress card is really manifestation. Wow, this is gorgeous. So it does look like somebody may be moving out. The Wheel of Fortune, the timing may be right, right after the holidays. Again, you're both manifesting each other. We have the beautiful Queen of Pentacles, very, very much the energy between the two of you of you know having your truth as a couple and moving forward as a couple. All right, so that's really a great start. High Priestess, very nurturing, using your intuition. The Justice card can be, you know, literally uh, a, the initiation of a divorce, or you could be moving away from a divorce situation where one of you left, and you could be moving into more stable waters. So it's beautiful either way. Let's look and see for your person. What are they thinking and feeling about this relationship at this time? What do they think and feel about your connection? This is the Five of Cups. Focusing on the negative, things not turning out as they anticipated. Your person feels as though everything happens for a reason, but they are looking for messages here. So it does look like the two of you are still in some some difficulties. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. Your person really feels as though you're a wonderful, a wonderful person. They love you. They feel that you're kind and compassionate, super psychic. You know, you're very kind. The Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords energy is about coming up with solutions, answers, having great clarity. So your person feels as though they want a passionate new beginning with you. They want to get over any past hurts or past wounds in the relationship. They want to be very generous with you and they definitely want 
they are thinking that they need a balanced relationship with you. They do feel as though there have been some ego battles along the way. And the, you know, when there's an ego battle, there's two people. So it takes two to tango and it takes two to, to get over things. Oh, look at how they feel in their heart space. They love you. This is fond memories of the love that you have shared with each other. Planning for the long term. The three of wands, your ships have come in. They are so delighted. They feel as though you are the radiant new beginning that, you know, again, ships arriving in the harbor. They're feeling very gratified, very loving. They feel very sad about anything that they did that caused confusion in the relationship, any burdens that they brought. They do feel very uh, guilty about that. So along with this beautiful love, look at this chariot card moving forward after difficulty. So the two of you have been together for long enough to really have some challenges to your relationship and look at this beautiful magical time. Lots of great chemistry. You're the alchemist together. You've been able to overcome the odds. You've been able to overcome difficulties. Your person loves you. Their heart space, their heart is so filled with love for you. Look at how sweet this is. This little boy giving a little girl a flower. We have the archangel in the background really protecting both of you. Again, there's a very spiritual core to this relationship. They feel as though whatever they did, it could involve money, it could involve, you know, something, a secret that they kept, but this person's very much in love with you and very grateful for the fact that they have been able to, you know, that you're together at this time. So really beautiful. For those of you who are new to tarot, um, if this reading doesn't resonate, please check the moon rising or Venus or check a playlist attached to the end of the video. Um, let's see what your person's intentions are with you. What are their intentions with you? Strength card. Oh, they are going to be there for you. They are standing by your side. They're very protective of you. They're very proud of the chance to be with you. Capricorn, really gorgeous. Okay, what else is their intention? The Two of Swords. They feel as though it's going to be up to you to make decisions. But this person does have a tendency to overanalyze and to pretend that things don't happen. So I do see a problem here because your person tends to brush things under the carpet and not want to deal with things. So your person feels as though if you bring it up, it's going to get dealt with. And if you don't, it won't get dealt with. So that is something that you have to be careful of because you know, a stitch in time saves nine, as they used to say. Oh, your person is very strategic. They're very loyal. They're very dedicated. They want to protect you. They also want to release the past. I really feel, Capricorn, that your person caused the problems in the past. I do not think that you were part of the cause of these issues. We have Aquarius energy and Aquarius energy. I do feel as though you have... You know, your person wants you to forgive them. They want to make everything right with you. They want to release the past to have this beautiful new beginning with you. We also see this incredibly beautiful Queen of Pentacles. So it's their intention to be very nurturing with you, but I don't like this Five of Swords card. They do feel as though they're worried about their own behavior. This person may have some tendency. We have the ego, so we have, you know, we have uh, this card of the devil card here. And we see this person may have addictions, and it does look like they're still worried about it. Their intention is not to partake, but they are very, they're concerned. They know that they're not past this addictive phase in their life. So, you know, we go from the five to the six to the seven, and the seven is not a good card here. We're not, you know, I would like to see the eight of swords come up in this because we're looking at this person still being caught up in behavior that could be very damaging. Now, I will say Capricorn that this is your card. That is your energy. The ego card is the devil energy. Um, but it does show both of you were, a, you took part in that. 
All right. So your person's action renewal. This is really coming in, you know, back into the relationship. The 20, the card of judgment, releasing, renewing, restarting the relationship. What else will they actually do? The dreamer. So they want a really beautiful new beginning. This person is starting on a fresh start. It does look as though they have, they've been willing to look at themselves. They are taking action. I would say they've tried to be in a recovery program of some sort because this is energy that says, okay, I'm starting fresh. I'm not going to participate in this, whatever this addictive ego driven energy was. The Queen of Fire, this person is taking action to have mastery over their life, over their business life, over their work life, trying to passionately move forward and give you the best of everything that they have. Wise Counselor, they're getting counseling. Beautiful. Oh, wonderful. Beautiful Hierophant energy. So they are seeking counseling to get the balance that they need in this relationship. The two of you are really divinely blessed here. And the world card, closing out situations in the past, putting them behind you. So the concern that I had about this, you know, five of swords energy looks as though this person is following really your, your lead and probably an ultimatum from you in terms of the relationship, it looks as though they're taking it very seriously. And so what I see is a beautiful time of healing, release, renewal, counseling, and closing out a cycle in a very successful way. This is beautiful energy. Saturn is a, the planet of karma, and it shows that this person has learned their lessons. Do they think that they're still vulnerable? They absolutely know they are. As with any addictive behavior, we learn to cope with it, but the addiction itself does not go away. Let's look and see, Capricorn, what your advice is for this relationship. Again, I want to remind everyone, if you are not dealing with somebody with particularly addictive behavior, it could be anything that's caused trouble between the two of you. Um, but I would say that there is somebody here who has a, a bad habit that has undermined or caused trouble, whatever that happens to be. So Spirit is advising you of that you need to release old grudges. You need to really join them in this ability to step forward. You have to forgive. You have to believe what you think may be impossible. And you are very close to achieving your goal, which is this beautiful divine marriage and very divine relationship. We also see confidence is the key to your success. We see the Queen of Wands, so your person really believes that about you too. One more card from Moonology. You are good enough, so anything that made you doubt yourself in this situation, Capricorn, you didn't do anything that you shouldn't have done. You, you're really whole on this. Let's look and see what the uh, what the oracle the messages of love oracle cards have just as information that might be interesting go slow okay that makes sense take your time go slowly as you move forward together release and surrender can help you let go so that is what i have for you capricorn it looks like your new year is going to be very beautiful it looks like you have a lovely relationship with someone that you've developed over uh, probably a long period of time so sending you love from chicago send some back and tell me where you're from capricorn happy holidays